Hello. This is me, Confmental. Once more again, with y'all. I'm here at the chicken farm. Look at all that. Mm-hmm. It works. And I'm starting to run out of pork chops here. This is all the uh, meat I have, so... Ready for this? Oh, it didn't work. I, I need to let it go for a minute. Yeah! Chicken for days! Awesome. I think it did burn some of it up. It might have. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. It seems like it got at least most of it. it seems like... Yeah, look at that! Woo! Chicken, chicken, chicken. And it looks like we got some survivors. That's okay. But what we're going to do now, we're going to, uh... We're going, we're going to uh, grab as many eggs as possible, and we're going to shove, pressing wrong buttons here. We're going to shove them up here. As many, this is, this is how the chicken farm works. This is the most manual it gets. Okay, so we throw all the, uh, oh, eggs going everywhere. This, this kind of takes a while. This is the part I'm not particularly fond of, but this is what's going to get us lots lots more chickens in here. We save up the eggs. Once it fills up with eggs, we put them up there, kill the chickens that are currently in there. And then we turn on this, uh, well, I'm going to call it the chicken spawner switch. And look at that. We got, we got a whole stack of chicken. We got a buttload of feathers. It's epic, man. I mean, look look at what we did here. This is a great redstone build, and I didn't get any help from YouTube in building this. No help. YouTube didn't help me at all. I am a genius. And now I'll let these spawn, I guess. Alright, everyone. So, uh... I decided what we're doing today. As you can see here, I've been working on this large structure. And it kind of looks like a bunch of mess right now. But, this is going to be our Temple of Maradin. The God of the Dwarves. Now, as you can see, this is a very strange shape. Now, what we're going for... Oh, snap. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Uh... What we're going for here is, if you've ever played on the Hypixel server, um, they have a lot of detail in all their walls, right? And since this is a big structure, I'm trying to do the same thing. So, I'm, so three thick is what we're going for for this wall. All right, this is the middle layer. This layer is going to be used for intense decoration. So we're going to go from this. to this and as you can see that's some decoration right there now this is just the lower part it's gonna go up higher but I just wanted to get like the solid base done you know what I mean like uh, like I'm thinking this whole thing is all going to be out well to this point right here and then I might go in or whatever higher up but Basically, I just want to get the base and build up from there, figure out what what it needs, like spires or towers or whatever, you know. You know. You just got to play it by uh play it play it by what you see as it gets cooler and cooler. Um But yeah, as you can see, I got uh I even got some color sticking out. And, of course, it's the national color of the dwarves. It kind of fits in with the whole thing. Um, and, of course, we got this three-thick window so we can do this kind of cool-shaped... This cool-shaped thingy window thing. But, yeah, this to this. And we're going to do the same thing with all the sides. Um, but, we're, of course, we're going to do most of it off-camera. You see... 
If you've ever been to the Hypixel server, they got a lot of stuff like this. And if you've ever seen B00's videos, he t there was a period where he was talking about uh, this kind of style for a long period of time. But I think it's going to work out for what we want to go for. And the cool thing about the setup is that you look at one side. It, you do one side and you can just go back okay that's one of those a slab we got a cobblestone block stair facing inward um, let's just put that there for now so we can do that there you go. But you see what I'm saying? After you after you figure out one side, you can pretty much repeat it all over the whole building. Uh, and then you got two cobblestone stairs going into each other. And we're going to have to get up to do that. But yeah, it's simple. Uh, no, it was cobblestone stairs, right? Yeah, as you can see, it's just kind of like a puzzle. You just figure it out the first time, and the rest of it falls into place. Yeah, you see that? And then over time, we just do the whole thing together, especially the sill, which is, uh, it, g it gives a really nice, this frame gives a really nice shape to the window altogether. And we're going to have a different type of frame, but generally the same shape on this side. But all in all, I think it should be extra extra awesome and really cool and stuff and and yeah this this place is going to be enormous it's going to be ridiculous, and I'm going to work for hours and hours on this project, and we probably won't even finish it in this episode, but I will do a, a plenty of stuff on camera with you um but yeah, right now, this is all just copying, maybe we'll uh work on this side of the wall together or we'll figure out the pattern to one of the other walls or something in just a minute. And wait, how do I do this? Um I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm wasting time here. It's it's, it's not really that important, but still. Okay. Time travel. All right. So, um now what we got now that we've traveled forward in time is some very cool looking window things and an entrance and and epicness just simple epicness so uh so now what we're gonna do is head over to this side as you can see I've already worked on some window frames and now we're actually going to work on on this wall together uh, well of course first thing we're gonna need uh, we need to keep the mithril pickaxe. Uh, the sword we'll keep in the inventory just in case. Cobble. Okay. Stone brick. Quartz. Now get our slabs. Looks like we need some uh, some cobblestone over here. Eh. Cobble. Let's let's make some uh, slabs too. Let's grab a little more cobble. And we need some... Oh, stone brick stairs. Definitely, stone brick stairs are actually a very important piece of this project. Now let's leave that crafting table over here. We'll bring this one with us over to the, uh, over to the wall we're working on. Alright, so here's our wall. I think the uh, windowsill things and the frames look pretty good. Alright, but mithril pickaxe. Alright, so let's start with this middle section. So it's five wide. What we got so far is the two stairs on the sides. We got some quartz and let's put some cobble there. Alright, not half bad, right? So now what we're gonna do we're going to uh, 
Yeah, let's do another block. That. Let's go half slabbies. And this time we're going to go full blocks. See, already that looks, that's pretty cool. Am I right? It's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, let's have some of these. Let's have one of these in the middle. Let's have two more of these on the side. Alright, that's like one of our sturdy layers. Some of the layers have to be simply, or at mostly full blocks. Because that, gi that gives most of your air of sturdiness to the whole thing. Also, one big thing is you don't want a lot of stuff like, uh, like this, because that shit, that, that's just not, look at that, that's not supported. It's just not so good. Not so good. Alright, so next layer up. Let's use stone, stone stairs, um... Yeah, let's let's go right here. All right. Now we're gonna go quartz slab. And boom. I'm trying to get some quartz in this build because that'll uh that'll add add to a lot of the color that I need. Because I do need this to be very light and good looking. Because Maraden is a god is a good god. He's not an evil god. He's not. He's not an evil god. Haven't you read any of the Forgotten Realms? Okay, so that... See, this works, because this piece is being held up by this one, so that's supported. This piece is is coming off the side of that one, so it's kind of being supported. Alright? So that kind of works. I know I said don't do that, but this is one of those options where you can do it and it works. Okay, so anyway, we got... let's... oh no. How did I drop that? Okay, let's let's just tear this down. We'll take a quick look at what we got so far. Oh, that's nice. I like it. I, I do. I like it. I think it's cool. And... Ch and now just to just to see how it looks because I think we're going with this. You can change this kind of early. Normally you'd want to do this at the end of the build. But I think we can do it right now. So go in, pop some color blocks. And look at that. You see that color it gives it? Like it's just a tiny bit of color. But on a subconscious level, I think it's extremely noticeable because look at this. There's a lot of color in this wall, and it's not even noticeable. But, man, I am hungry. <laughs> like, really hungry. And I don't mean in-game, I mean in real life. So, uh, I really want to finish this wall with you, though. Alright, let's just build it up a little more, and I'll get something to eat. Okay, so, let's back up so we can get a good look at what we're working with. Okay, so let's pop some quartz blocks in, because I want to make sure we get these in. All right, and they're all going to be full blocks. Let's have some of this. Okay. Some of that stuff. Occasionally I do this as well. I kind of work it like a puzzle. Like I put a certain block in all at once. Let's put in some cobble. Mm -hmm, not bad. Yeah. Alright, what do we not have yet? Stone brick? I like it. Let's get a far away look. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. Look at that wall. Yeah, it's not half bad at all. 
And you know what? To build this side, I honestly think I might tear down this center wall so that I can uh, possibly be able to see what I'm doing from here. Yeah, I think that could work. Either that or I may have to run back and forth. Or maybe I'll take a screenshot of this side, put my uh, put my game into windowed mode, minimize it a little, and build it up with a screenshot. It's not bad. The Great Church of Maradon. Oh yeah, these little one wide spaces. These, are, these can be easy, but they can also be kind of hard. Because you don't really want to... Uh, make it too plain, you know what I mean? Eh. Block of quartz here for good measure. Cobblestone. A slab. And cobblestone. That's kind of random, but it don't look too bad. It works. All right, yeah. So yeah, we worked on a wall together. Congratulations, everybody! Congratulations. Uh, hmm. My hunger has subsided, for now, at least. That's kind of coming back, but whatever. Hmm. I'm trying to wonder how detailed should the inside walls be. Hmm. Ha. <laughs> ha. But if you're wondering how I did the window frames, it's pretty simple. You just go up, like straight up, up to here. You put an upside down stair here, an upside down stair on that one, and you have a little at the top of your window. As you can see, I filled in some of the floor as well. I have a little bit of detail going on. And this is going to be like a raised platform. Ha <laughs> ha. Sleep time. So as you can see, just from killing mobs that have come up on me while I'm building this, I have gotten 30 levels. And I've also gone back and uh, killed the chickens again. Let's go see how they're doing now, come to think of it. This chicken farm is really cool. Whee! Cluck, cluck, cluck. It says I got, uh, entities. Oh my god. Judging by that lag, I would say it's true. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I have plenty of eggs in here already. Oh my god, that filled so fast. Alright guys, you fill it up, I'm going to kill all you. Wow, even when I look near it, when I look towards it, I get lag. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Uh, I guess I'll go off camera with y'all and work on it some more, and we'll get back together again. Um. Wrong. Oh man, it's beautiful in here. It's real beautiful in here. I start on a roof. I start on a roof a little bit. Huh. Ha ha! I defeated him. Okay, but yeah. Check it out, man. This place is going to be awesome when I'm done here. I have like a little cobblestone frame going up there. And... Yeah, I think it's going to look really good, especially with some corner things on these little uh, pillar dues corner things. It's going to be very cool. The roof's kind of like one of these shapes, as is classic and dwarven tradition here. Um, but yeah, man, this is a big build, so uh, we're probably going to 
Next episode, we're probably going to do a lot of interior stuff. Like, oh my dear God. Like statues and things like that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Statues and stuff would be real cool, you know what I mean? You, you can't escape! Oh my God, the skeletons are everywhere. Ah! Oh! Yeah, also, I need to add some, uh... Dang, man! Yeah, I need to add some, uh, slabs. Maybe some stairs up there to make the... Eh, to make the shape of the roof a little more rounded out. You know what I mean? Damn, I, s I say that a lot, don't I? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I just need to shut up. Shut up, Count. Stop talking. You're stupid. What the heck? Oh my god. Eh. 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 Oh no, this ain't good. This isn't good. This isn't good! Oh. Stupid skeleton. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, next episode we're going to work on a lot of interior stuff. I'll finish the, the roof off camera, obviously. But you can see generally how it works. I have it's some across going this way, and I have some across going this way, and I try to round it all out using those. But maybe, before we end the episode, we can turn on the chicken cooker again. Do you like my light fixtures, by the way? Aren't they cool? I have a bunch over there, too. They're so cool. I like them so much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is what I am talking about. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. 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 Die. Okay. Um, what am I doing again? Oh, yeah. Put, I'm making a chest so this is a little bit easier. I'm going to throw literally just everything in here. Everything, everything, everything. So I can grab eggs faster. But yeah, man. This thing is beneficial to our cause. It is food. It is an unbelievable amount of food. Oops. And it all filters into the hop, into the uh, hop, hopper, and then through the hopper into the into the what what call it the dispenser. It's freaking awesome. And then, oh man, this thing is still filling up too. I'm I'm amazed. How many eggs are in this thing? Alright, so let's get a bunch of chicken. Mm-mm-mm, -mm -mm, delicious. Oh man, the hopper is... <laughs> the hopper is full. And the dispenser. No, just the hopper in this case. Mm. Wow. Okay, we're getting the feathers. That's good. So we'll have the chicken momentarily. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, here, here. Hold on. Eh. Eh. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. Dang, look at all that chicken that time, man. Whee, that's, that's some awesome. We get pretty much filled this chest completely. 
But yeah, this this chicken cooker was a great investment. I'm very happy with it. Mm mm, tons of chicken, chickeny goodness. Did I already drop off my chicken? No, that's my chicken included. Okay, so we got like a stack and a half, something like that. Yeah, pretty good. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's grab all my stuff. Okay. And I'm going to end the episode with a few comments on thanking you, people. I got I got two new subscribers. Thank you, subscribers. Welcome to the Conf Plays Mental channel. I hope you enjoy. Sneak peek as to what y'all going to get. But yeah, guys, this this thing is looking pretty good. I'm liking the walls. They're really nice looking. They're not exactly as crazy as I would have liked them to be at first. But honestly, in the long run, it gives like a really a really nice, sturdy, dwarvish... You know, you know, sturdy, but not too chaotic. Just like a dwarf. Just like a true dwarf. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Thank you very much. Huh. Alright, hold on just a second. Alright, sorry, I just wanted... Oh, wait, that's not even full screen. Sorry. I just wanted to make sure all that stuff recorded. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. I love y'all. It's been, it's been real sweet chilling with y'all. And, uh, well, next time, more church building. So, eh. Conf Mental out, everyone. We'll see you later, and annotation time. No, but seriously. See you later. Bye.